Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be filming my monthly get ready with me. These get ready with me's are always the most personal video on my channel just because I am mainly talking about myself. Like it's the one video where I'm not really talking too much about the makeup. I'm just talking about my personal life and I also vlog during the day and show you guys my day just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better so with that being said I wanted to talk about Tubby's passing before we get started because I don't want to talk about it when I'm putting my makeup on because I probably will tear up if you guys saw my post on my community tab page or if you follow me on Instagram you would know that my little ginger boy that I picked up off the streets, he was a stray kitten, he passed away a couple weeks ago. Sorry, I did not want to cry, but just talking about it is really hard. I just wanted to thank you guys for your love and all your comments and all the stories that you guys have shared with me. Although I would never, ever wish this feeling on someone else. Um, it just feels a bit reassuring to know that. A lot of people are feeling like this that have lost their furry buddy. I never thought of Tubby as like a pet. He was like literally my son. I always said that we were soulmates because he just got me. I just wanted to say thank you and thank you for understanding about my slow upload and trying to spend time with Harry because not only it's hard on me, it's also hard on him as well. So I'm just, you know, trying to spend my spare time with my friends and with Harry because I just need to heal and I'm not trying to move on. I'm just trying to cope and live every day with this feeling because I've never lost someone so dear to me and I've never experienced a heartbreak like this. So it's like a first time feeling all of these emotions and thank you for letting me feel these emotions and just having a slow upload. Okay, never thought I would, I would cry on the internet, but here we are. I just want to tell you guys, I really appreciate you. A lot of you guys, even after I posted about Tubby's passing, a couple of days later just like DM'd me and just were checking up on me, which is really, really sweet. I am doing a bit better. I wouldn't say I'm doing great, but I don't want to say I'm doing bad because I don't want to like disappoint Tubby because I don't want him to think that I'm always sad, but it's just a weird feeling. I feel so empty, like my heart feels so empty, but it feels so heavy at the same time. Okay, I'm just gonna reapply some more eye cream because I probably, that probably all came off while I was crying. Now that I've talked about Tubby a little, um, we can put on some makeup and just talk about other things in life. Um, because yeah, a couple things did happen and I just wanna talk to you guys. It's very therapeutic for me. I'm gonna start off with the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This kind of acts as my primer. It feels like the two, not the Too Faced, the Benefit Professional. Like it feels like a silicone primer. And it even says that you can use it as your makeup base. So that's what I've been doing. It has SPF 40 and I've been actually really liking this. I feel like it's just so different from other sunscreens. It works as a great makeup base. For those of you guys that live in New Zealand, I did get this off Revolve. It's like $40 off Revolve, but the shipping is pretty expensive. Sunscreen is important. I don't use it enough, so I just paid the $15 shipping fee. Yeah. So in total, that sunscreen was $65. Don't judge. But for today's look, I will be filming my like everyday makeup look. I wore it in a couple of videos. I know I wore it for sure in my soul glitter body review and a lot of you guys requested for a tutorial on it. Every time I wear a new makeup look in my videos you guys always ask for a tutorial but this specific look I don't know why you guys just really really wanted to see it and was requesting it a lot and it's like such an easy look. That's the makeup look that I'm gonna be filming today. I am using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation but today is going to be a busy day. I've been trying to you know keep myself busy. If you guys have seen any of my previous Get Ready With Me's you would know that a lot of them when I say spend the day with me I'm literally at home but 
On my days off, Harry and I have been trying to keep ourselves busy, you know, going out because this house is filled with so many memories of Tubby. It's kind of hard to be in here the whole day like we used to always be. So we've been going out, spending time with people, which is not really common for me, but today is going to be fun. After I get ready, and finish filming, my friend is gonna come over. We are going to watch the first BTS movie, Burn the Stage, because we watched Bring the Soul in theaters earlier August, and we wanted to watch the first one because we are like new armies, but with really dedicated armies. So yeah, she's gonna come over and we're gonna watch that because um, Harry and I recently just got a TV. Yeah, the TV is a really great thing, I think, because it's like the one part of the house that doesn't remind me of Tubby because we got it after Tubby and we just made a couple of changes in the house to, you know, make the house feel a little different and not keep reminding us of him. But yeah, we rearranged the whole living room so it looks very different and every time I sit on the couch, I'm not reminded of Tubby because I don't have any memories watching TV with him. I've been on the couch a lot, like I haven't sat on my desk in a very long time because my desk was like the time where Tubby would always sit with me and like just edit with me. Okay, I said I wasn't going to talk about him but like literally my life was just about him. Like everything I did, he was there. Um, not gonna cry because it's time for concealer. I'm moving on to the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I got a new shade, Almond. I mentioned it in my favorites video. But yeah, my friend is coming over. We're gonna watch that. And then we're gonna head to dinner and meet up with another friend. And I'm just gonna take a bit of golden beige just to cover up this little pimple. I don't know why. I keep breaking out around this area. And then after dinner, me and my friend, the one that's watching the movie with me, we're gonna go into the city and go to karaoke. I haven't been karaoke in ages. I've been wanting to for a really long time and I think it would just be nice to go karaoke with my friend and just sing a lot of BTS songs because honestly music has been a really big help um, with me grieving and there's like a couple of songs that just have been really really helpful. So that's the plan today. Honestly it doesn't seem like a lot like watch a movie, dinner and then karaoke but to me it's a lot. You guys see my other get ready with me's I don't go out. Taking the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder in translucent, I'll be using this to set my under eyes. So I always like to just blend out my under eyes first because I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and it can crease. So before you set it, you do want to blend the creasing out because you don't want to set the creasing. And to set the rest of my face, I am using my Colourpop No Filter Sheer Press Powder in the shade Medium Dark. So now I'm gonna move on to my brows. I'm gonna just film it on camera because sometimes when I don't film it, a lot of you guys say that you wanna see it, but I just don't like filming my brows because I'm not really good at my brows and I don't know why you guys like my brows, but they just look so fake, but that's the only way I know how to fill them in. So anyway, using the NYX Micro um, blah, 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 brow pencil in black. I'm so silly because I literally got a black eyebrow pencil when my hair was black and then literally a week later, I don't know why I decided to dye my hair brown. It's a really dark brown. Like, I feel like none of you guys even realized that I dyed my hair a little bit lighter. There was like no comments about it. I thought I would at least get like a couple comments like, oh, you dyed your hair brown. But yeah, none of you guys mentioned it. So I'm like, maybe it's not that noticeable. So I was like, mm, I could have just stuck, stuck with my dark brown eyebrow pencil, but here we are with a black, it doesn't matter. You can barely even tell, right? Going in with my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in dark brown. Yes, dark brown. I always use this to fill in my brows. Okay, so that was my eyebrows done. The knot that even but it's the best I can do. We can now move on to the eyes. For today's video and the look that I've been wearing I was using the Give It To Me Straight palette from Colourpop. If you watch me a lot you know that this is one of my favorite palettes of all time and that's what we're going to be using today. I will maybe zoom Maybe just a little bit closer. So first I'm going to be taking this shade over here. This is called Downright. 
and this is going to be my transition shadow I just like to put that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions but anyway bringing it back to BTS how many of you guys watched bring the soul it was so good I actually watched it twice just to support you know it was a really good movie it was very eye-opening just to see how their tour life is and how much work and effort they put in but I've bought so much like BTS merch so before I only had the BT21 the cookie gridlock and the RJ airpod case I bought the summer package which is I think it was like $80 um, I'm really excited for that to come it's probably not gonna come until October I recently just bought an album my first album I got love yourself answer which is the double disc and I got sugar as my photo card which is exciting okay I'll show you guys this shirt after. but I got it off yes style and sugar wore it once and JK wears it in the BTS world app it's like a plaid shirt which is really cute it was obviously not the same one that they wear because it's probably expensive mine was like $17 off yes style I'm on season 2 bon voyage which is like a thing that you need to pay for like just how much money and things that they have like even though they're on hiatus right now like on a break they just keep keep coming out with stuff and it's just taking all my money i am moving on to this shade over here which is called frank i'm going to apply this right at the outer corners of my eyes just to deepen out that area and then i'm also going to bring it on to my lower lash line as well i think i mentioned to you guys that i was going to be an auntie and i am the baby boy came just a couple days before tubby passed so it was a really weird Time. But my nephew, he's seriously so cute. I'm so happy for Harry's brother and his wife. I don't know, I was telling Harry that it's, it's kind of sad. Um, there was a new baby boy that came into our lives and then a couple of day later, my baby boy left us. So <sighs> We visited the baby yesterday and a couple days before that and it's really cute but sometimes i can't help but feel sad because i always said that tubby was my son like i would hold him like i'm burping him and i would hold him like you know i'm holding like a legit baby he just felt like like a baby to me and he was literally my son and just seeing like harry's brother hold the baby like that it just reminds me of tubby sometimes and although it's a happy moment like i'm also i just feel empty you know, like all the slightest things remind me of Tubby. It's just crazy how much I have learned from him. Like I've learned so much from him and everything happens for a reason. I know, I believe that so much. Like I know God has a reason for it. You can see that my mood is just like a roller coaster. Like I'm happy and then I'm sad and it literally feels like that. My Jackie Aina video, I, I seem pretty good, right? And then my favorites video, it was like so down, but yeah. It is exciting to be an auntie and see how this baby grows up. His name is Aiden, Aiden Park, so cute. And now I'm going into this shade down here. It is called Actually. I'm gonna be doing exactly the same thing, but I am just focusing it a little bit lower, just at the outer corner there, just to deepen it up a little bit more. I'm trying to think what else has been new that's happened in august besides tubby's passing i did make uh, another instagram account it is just for like my film so i just have a disposable film camera i don't use like a legit film camera i would love to one day it's just a little bit pricey to buy one and i just love how it looks and i just wanted to like dedicate a whole account to it it's a little bit more on the personal side as well if you guys do want to follow it it is just judy's underscore film i'm excited to post more on it and get my film developed just getting film developed is so exciting and i love like film so yeah it's just really exciting and now i'm just going to be using a mixture of straight up which is this shade here and then candid over here i'm just gonna mix those two shades together and apply that to the inner part of my lid space i do like to spray my brush a little bit i always use this just because i want to finish it up honestly you can use any like metallic shadow that you like because i feel like this is such a neutral mauve look that anything will look really nice in this region i'm really tempted to use my jackie Aina palette and use the shade zam in there because that would look so pretty but this is the look that i wore in those videos so i'm just gonna stick to it 
But also another thing um, work related that was really cool was that I got to work with Dyson. Like that's just like a really crazy thing to say. Like I got to work with Dyson. I don't know, like Dyson is just that brand for me, you know? That's not makeup. If I wanted to work with a brand, it would be Dyson. My friends know and Harry knows how much like I wanted a Dyson everything. Like they just seem such an innovative and cool company and it's really wild. And it's all thanks to you guys. I owe you guys a lot, honestly. You guys are like my therapy session you guys support me and allow me to have these opportunities and it's just a really cool thing that we have in this little community and i'm really grateful for it now it's time for eyeliner i'm gonna use the use it you eye opening liner um this is a japanese brand but it is cruelty free and also vegan i don't know if the whole company is vegan but this eyeliner is vegan it's an amazing eyeliner i like to use it to actually just line my lash line because it's so thin it doesn't smudge or transfer but the thing with me is that i cannot create a wing with a liquid liner so i only use is to line my lash line and then I'm just taking my Inglot AMC 77 gel liner to create my wing I will just have to get up close to my mirror so sorry I'm just gonna use my Artisy in Moisture eyeliner to tight line my upper lash line And now I'm just going to curl my lashes to prep them for falsies. I suck at curling my lashes. Do you guys watch Jessica Vu? She is so talented. She can curl her bottom lashes. Like she literally turns her lash curl upside down and, cur and curls her bottom lashes. Like I just don't know how she does that. And I'll be using my Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. It's funny because my friend, the one that's coming over today, her name is Sonia. She's like one of my closest friends. I raved about this mascara to you guys and I think she tried it and she hates it. And I'm just like, how? It's just crazy how we all like like different things. Like this is my holy grail mascara, but she literally hates it. And she's gonna give me her bottle when I run out of mine. Just take everything with a grain of salt, to be honest. Like whatever I recommend to you guys, you might not even like. Something that I hate, you guys might love. And for my false lashes today, I'm going to be using the Kiss lashes in the style Ritzy. I just got a new pair. Everybody loves the Ardell Demi Wispies, but I don't know, I like these so much more. They're like my natural lash. If like, I'm not gonna use House of Lashes or Petite Cosmetics. Oh, by the way, Petite Cosmetics, Tina Young. She is literally the nicest person as well. I think she saw me use her palette a lot, her Run Wild palette with BH. Um, she herself reached out to me on Instagram and sent me over a bunch of lashes called the Lux Fake Mink Lashes and she sent me like all of the styles which I'm so grateful for like she's just literally so humble and so nice that she would like send it out to someone like me but yeah I've been wearing her lashes but the new collection is more of like a dramatic lash and I don't want to wear a dramatic lash today and besides when I wore this eye look in my videos I did wear these lashes um what else can we talk about let's talk about the month coming September. September is going to be a busy month, um, which is good. I want to be busy. I don't want to stay home as much. Never thought I would say that because I love staying home. But yeah, it's Harry's birthday at the end of the month, which is exciting. We are going away for two days, just like a staycation kind of thing. We're going down more to like Coromandel, which is like two hour drive from Auckland. But yeah, we just, we just found this really good deal on Grab One and we thought, why not go for his birthday? It's also my other friend's birthday, like two days after Harry's birthday. So the end of September is pretty busy. But next week, Denise, I've talked about her a lot on my channel. She's like my oldest sister. She's not actually my older sister. Like I just view her as like my older sister. She is coming up to Auckland. She's gonna be staying over with her partner, Kadeen, um, who is also a YouTuber as well. They're both YouTubers. Um, I'll leave their channel links down below. Denise does a lot of Korean beauty reviews and also a lot of contact reviews. Like literally all the contacts that I'm getting is because of her recommendation. Like 
she knows what she's talking about. You know how like I know Colourpop, like I know their formula and everything. She knows contacts, she knows Korean beauty. Definitely go subscribe to her, support another Kiwi Asian. And Kadeen is more of like a fashion, kind of like Jenim, but like a male version. He does a lot of like really cool outfits. Very, very fashionable. If you are looking for new people to follow, go follow them. I love them. They're just really cool people, you know? I'm now just going into my NYX, what is this called? Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm taking this shade here, which I believe is called Tan. And I'm going to use this to bronze up my face. But yeah, Denise and Kadeen, they will be staying at our house for the weekend next week. And I'm so excited to see them. I haven't seen them since... I don't know when, like maybe April? And it would be nice again just to have people at the house and just have some company. So yeah, it's going to be fun. I know we're gonna be eating a lot. <laughs> I'm using this shade over here called Sculpt and I'm gonna use this to just slightly contour my nose a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I honestly don't even know how to contour my nose. I feel like it always just looks so fake. A little definition down the sides won't hurt. My lashes are ready to go on. I love these lashes. You see it just like emphasizes my lashes just a little bit, like not too much. I still need to fix it, but yeah, I just, I love them. I love how they look. Let's move on to blush now using the Super Shock Shadow, not Super Shock Shadow, Super Shock Cheek in the shade between the sheets. I'm gonna use this for my blush, trying to empty this pan as well. Like I've made a really big dent in this. I'm trying to finish it up. And for my highlighter today, of course, the Dizzy X Katie Fuego highlighter. And for my lip pairing, I'm taking the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in the shade Give Me Some More, which is like one of my favorites. So that is the makeup done. I'm just gonna go off camera, just fix my lashes, do my hair, and then I will show you guys the final look. Okay, we are switching to the vlog camera now. I'm gonna start my day. I want to quickly just answer a clip, a funny clip. Uh, it literally just happened now. I was taking like a video of the final look. The way this house is situated and how my room is in this house, it's like right in front of our driveway. So we live in a driveway and my neighbor is like directly across me. So every time I film and open these blinds, like I don't open it all the way just because I don't want them to see me directly. One of my neighbors was like walking in. I don't think he saw me, but I like freaked out when I saw him and like dropped to the floor because I was like taking photos of myself and that's like embarrassing. So yeah, it was pretty funny. Like I made myself laugh a little bit there. Um, so I thought I would show you guys the footage as well. But anyway, I'm just going to wait for my friend to come over and we can watch Burn the Stage. I'm just going to clean around the house and maybe do a little bit of editing before she arrives. But I do want to show you guys the shirt that I was talking about, like the flannel shirt. So it is this one here from Yes Style. It might look familiar if you play BTS World. Jungkook does wear this flannel in um, one of like his cards. But Sugar actually wore this to the airport and might look familiar it just has like three different designs of flannel on it so we got the yellow the white and the black um obviously it's not like the same one that they have but it's like a dupe so um i'm happy to leave the link for you guys down below if you guys like want to get it regardless if you know bts or like bts it is a pretty cute flannel i think it's just very unique with like the different prints on it so i thought i would quickly show you guys my outfit for today my top is from your style these pants are from misguided this belt is from h&m i am going to be wearing like a cardigan like a white cardigan you probably saw it in the previous clip but that is from your style as well my watch is from mark bale and i'm probably just going to wear a pair of meals with this outfit i'm currently just wearing my slippers um but yeah that is my quick little outfit of the day i actually might take this belt off just because there's no belt strap and it's kind of annoying because this belt is too big for my waist as you can see um so yeah i'm probably gonna take this off but you guys kind of get the 
general vibe of this outfit. Yay! It's more than a few minutes. 